From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jill Malandrino for The Street. As another biotech company comes public to the NASDAQ market, Galapagos, tell us about the company because you're already listed in Europe and clearly the market likes the story you have to tell up almost 22% in your first day of trading. Very pleased with that and uh, very pleased to be on the NASDAQ. Uh, we've been on Euronext in uh, Brussels and Amsterdam for 10 years and we thought the time was there now to, uh, to go to NASDAQ. Uh, the reason being that we have a fantastic new drug for rheumatoid arthritis in the latest phase of clinical testing. And there's a lot of interest here in the US from investors uh, for that specific story. Clearly there is an interest, this is again, up over 22% on the first day of trading, but there are other competitive drugs on the market. Tell us about the need that has to be met. Yeah, the main drugs that are on the market are biologics that have been very effective, but they have a long onset of action and you have to give them by injection or uh, IV. Uh, ours is a small molecule that you take, can take as a pill in the morning once a day and so for the patients in comfort it's uh, much better but also uh, it's a very rapid onset of action. We have shown that within a week you can see if the drug works in these patients whereas with the biologics it takes uh, up to two months before you can see if it uh, is effective. Abvi and Johnson & Johnson are investing into your company. Are they looking to replace Humira once it comes off patent? Is that the goal here? For Abvi, that's absolutely the goal. They have an option on this program that uh, uh, they can acquire the molecule up to September this year, and then they can further develop it in the latest clinical phase, phase three, and market it uh, globally. Uh, and we get further milestones and, and royalties uh, from, from AbbVie. Mm -hmm. But for AbbVie, they need to have the second generation drugs for, for RA uh, to replace Humira. Now that you're public on the NASDAQ market, what does that bring to the company? Well, much more exposure to uh, the U.S. investor. Uh, the sophisticated investment uh, firms are here in the United States and not so much uh, uh, in Europe. They're more generalist there. You Here you got very large biotech uh, funds uh, that have all the knowledge to review uh, the programs of the companies and the strategy of the biotech companies. And we wanted to get more access to those, and uh, a NASDAQ listing is a very good way to get that. Okay, thanks very much. Congratulations on the first great day of trading. Thank you. For The Street Pleasure. in New York, I'm Jill Malandrino.